Hi guys, welcome back. So as I said, uh, POMQ for Q, POMQ for Windows uh, have a lot of modules, but we'll focus on uh, okay uh, decision analysis. Uh, if you want to look at break-even analysis, cost volume analysis, multi-product break-even, just go over that. And since this is not financial management class, I'll uh, not go over through that. But uh, let's focus on decision analysis. Decision analysis can be used in order to do some forecasting about what's going to happen. Shall I pursue this or pursue that? Okay, these are factors. These are decision trees. I'll go over them. Uh, one by one so decision tables first so we have here our uh, decision tables number of decision it can be uh, okay so let's have about three decision three decisions Okay, yeah, and then number of nature states may be good, bad, average. Okay, so three. Also, our objective is to profit, ma profit maximization. It can also be cost minimization, right? But let's focus on profit maximization. I think these are all given, so don't worry about it. Just listen through this, uh, and then let's just you know apply it to whatever problem that you may be having, you know, in the future. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so we have probabilities. Um, okay, so that's it. Profit maximization. For which alpha has something to do with... Um, um, so if, if the probability... Okay, so let's... Let's just uh, leave that for a moment. And let's just focus on, first of all... So let's let's not uh, do anything with her which alpha first. So probabilities of or for state one. So state one may be like um uh you know like a bad economy for example. So um a below average should I say uh, situation. And let's say that in the past the probability of for happening. In that kind of a state is about let's say 30 percent so yeah and for state 2 which is the middle is about 0.5 so this is just an average state so therefore it's usually larger right and for state 3 so for example you're not thinking and you entered 0.3 so let's see what will happen 8 11 so what's that why is it why Enter probability state one equal sign that all probabilities will set equal this probability one, so it must be zero, zero and one. How come it did not, you know, uh, maybe it will give you, yeah, it will correct you when we when we click for so. Okay, so decision one, decision one for state one would be so it's a, uh, it's the profit, profit for decision one for state one. Okay, so let's say that state decision one would be uh, pursuing, pursuing, uh, you know, uh, let's say expansion, all right? Pursuing expansion, whatever project, nah? uh, let's just say pursuing expansion for project one, whatever that project is, so project A, okay? And if the economy is below average or we have uh, a bad economy should I say right so this is the average economy and this is a good economy so pursuing an expansion project in a below average will result for example in a net income of about uh, 100 so let's just put it in million right maybe around uh, you know again this is just given so 4 million still income right average we are doing it we are you know enjoying a 20 million um, uh, uh, income while for a good economy it will be you know 50 million so for decision two is just status quo maybe status quo nothing 
you know uh, we're not doing anything we're not uh, expanding whatever so status quo below average will have about 10 maybe and then uh, below average and therefore average may be about 15 and for good we have about 25 million for decision three uh, let's say uh, scrapping uh, project uh, B for example right so this is scrapping project B that means you are ending one one unprofitable project and below average it will be because we lost one project right so it would be a loss of let's say five million on an average we will be you know uh, having an income of 10 million on a good economy it will be earning about 30 million okay so if you will understand this is they're all given so this is a below average scenario the economy is not that good and it happens 30 percent of the time of course we have a mistake here right if you will notice 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 is 110 percent which should not be right so if i solve yeah so there there's the problem the probability sum to 1.1 so you have to correct that so let's say that the that the good economy happened only 20 percent of the time right so if this is the case what will be the best scenario to to follow so we'll just click solve and you will see that uh yeah so we have here this is already the uh this is already the result okay but how can i why why am not why am i not seeing everything still not seeing everything but anyway all right so this is the solution pursuing expansion project a the emv is the expected monetary value of 21.2 which is highest for pursuing expansion right and row max is also given in a maximum situation uh, it's still given by pursuing expansion project a now the maximum if you will notice the blue color there so what does this mean status quo is happening in a best scenario in the, in the lowest scenario happens uh, by doing the status quo maximum is given by the the status quo maximax is given by pursuing project okay so what does that mean so if you are following probabilities it is best to use expansion a if you are maxim minimizing uh if you are minimizing um uh the largest minimum so should should it does not should the should the probability does not you know do not play in your favor and you want to be more conservative then the one the, the thing to pursue is status quo so if you are employing a conservative view in this case is you know you have to use um status quo now if you want to be aggressive if you are so sure that it's going to be good out there then the thing to pursue is expansion project okay. now if you want to play with probabilities then it's still pursuing expansion okay. so these are you know some of the some of the things that you can be using and you can edit data again and let's say for example okay so we found out that uh, in a below average economy it turns out that pursuing expansion project a is going to yield only 2 million while status quo uh, you know status quo is what's happening already right is already changing it's now 8 million scrapping project b we will we will lose the income for project b so uh, but we will save some money so let's say that it will yield negative 3 million while on the average it will be 8 million and on a good economy it will be 12 million 
let's say when we change uh, the good economy uh, good economy the pursuing expansion a will only yield 30 million on an average it will only have 15 million well no, not 15 million because it has to be good it has to be better than this right so this will be 12 million only and this will be like 20 million only so th you can correct this and you can even add more uh, you know uh, more decisions to choose from you can add some more of course i cannot already i cannot edit this anymore here because i've already entered that there are only you know uh, certain kind of rules but i can insert rows now like for example what uh, we want is the new row number four and let's say for example uh pursuing let's say pursuing project d for example there's a new project and that the below average would be losing money 10 million the average is winning money like 20 million and a good economy it will yield you for example 25 million let's say it's just okay uh, 18 million for example so if this is your uh, um, projections and of course the projection uh, comes from certain factors right but if this is a projection what would be the best scenario to follow so if i click on solve it will give you again the decision tree so we have solutions here the decision analysis result we have um again the best ev if you are playing with probabilities it would still be expansion project a the maximum the mean uh, if you are going to be conservative it has to be the status quo and if it is aggressive being aggressive it it would be pursuing project a so apparently uh pursuing project d is not really that good well maybe it's because of the loss that it gives you on a below average economy and the below average economy is 30 percent of the time so that is really something right now there are other solutions here let's say expected value perfect information mm, perfect probability expected value of the perfect info okay nothing much here this is just the computation of how they arrive at the the solution now let's look at the regret or the opportunity loss okay so this is important because what we want to know is how much of the regret for example if you don't remember opportunity loss is when you choose something and the other one plays out good right so the this is the cost of what you let go right so the maximum regret the maximum regret for pursuing project expansion a is six right expected regret is 3.3 Okay, this is again this is maximization of cost status quo the maximum regret is 10 okay scrapping project b the maximum regret is 18 this is the good regret it, that means that if you uh happen not to choose this and uh, the you know uh, it happens to be a a good economy then scrapping project b will give you an 18 you know million regret pursuing project d the maximum regret is 18 which is the below average regret and if you want to look at the minimax the minimum regret the minimum maximum the max the minimum of the maximum <laughs> so meaning this is the 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 minimum allowable maximum regret if you want but if you can follow me there so a max the maximum regret the minimum of that the minimum of the maximum regret is six and it points you towards pursuing project a so if you are playing with opportunity loss and you want to minimize the opportunity loss then the best scenario is still to choose pursuing expansion project a so this is a good way to you know play with decision trees right and uh, it's really something that uh, that uh, management should be using a lot really okay so that's enough for decision tables so for next video, we'll focus on the decision tree calculator using a graphical representation. Okay, see you, see you next video. Bye.